Hopefully you've had a chance to walk through this problem on your own. I'm going to go ahead and walk through the solutions. Um, so the piece of information that I, I notice in my word problem, that's my starting point. This is 10.5 stones. And the mass is being asked for in pounds and kilograms. So let's start with pounds. Um, I'm given a couple conversion factors. Um, both of them have pounds in them, actually. One equates pounds and grams, the other pounds and stones. So if my starting point is 10.5 stones, and I have a conversion, I'm going to end up in units of pounds, right? So I need my pounds to be on the top, because those are the units I want, and my stones on the bottom. Um, so that means when comparing these two conversion factors, I'm going to go for the conversion factor that has stones and pounds in it. And this tells me that one stone is equal to 14 pounds. So I'll multiply 10.5 by 14 in my calculator, and my units will cancel, so I only have pounds, and I get um, 147.000, and it goes on. I have three significant figures to start with, so I'll report three significant figures. I mean, my final answer would be 147 pounds. All right, now let's do the next one where we have to go to kilograms. Um, so you could use this as your starting point with pounds and then move on from there, but I'm going to start at, at stones to show a multi-step conversion problem. So if I have 10.5 stones, I am going to need to convert into units um, of kilograms. So immediately I would put my units I want to be in on the top and the units I want to get rid of on the bottom and look for a conversion factor between stones and kilograms, which I don't have. So I'm going to erase. I don't have that. Um, I have something that equates stones and pounds, pounds and grams. Um, I don't have anything with kilograms in it. So I'm going to pull from my memory that one kilogram equals 1,000 grams from my metric conversion table. And so this could be a conversion factor I can use as well. So I'm going to keep things loose. I don't know how many of these conversions I'm going to need. So I'm just going to, I know it'll probably be at least two. I'll give myself some space though um, to get to kilograms. So I want to start with kilograms, uh, or sorry, end with kilograms. So I'll put it on the top. And I want to get rid of stones. So I'll put that on the bottom. Now I only have one conversion factor with stones in it. It's this 14 pounds equals one stone. So I'll convert from stones to pounds. And then if I look at my conversion factors, I don't have anything that's pounds to kilograms. So since I have pounds to grams, I can use that, but it won't actually get me into units of kilograms. So that's my hint, my heads up, that I'm gonna need two conversion, or a total of three conversions. So again, I'll end in kilograms. Um, I'm in units of pounds right now, my stones cancel, so no matter what, I need to get rid of pounds. I have a conversion factor that goes from pounds to the metric system of weight, grams. So I could go pounds to grams, and I know that grams and kilograms um, are a conversion that's easy to do based on its prefixes. So I'll put grams down here. So looking at this, my stones will cancel, my pounds will cancel, and my grams will cancel, and I'll be left with units of kilograms. So I'm gonna now go in and plug in these values. So one stone equals 14 pounds, one pound equals 450 grams, and one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. All right, now I'll plug this into my calculator. I'll plug in 10.5 times 14 times 450 divided by 1,000. And that's going to give me my answer of 66.15 out of my calculator. Now I've got three sig figs to start with, so let's end on the same. So I'm going to need to round. 
to, I have 66.1, but this five is gonna make my one round up. So my answer will be 66.2 kilograms.